Hi everyone and welcome back on adbelive.com. Um, so this, I am Michael Shez and uh, today I'm super happy to have uh, Martina with us. Hi, Hi Martina. Hi. And we are live from Adobe Max San Diego. Thanks for uh, being with us. We're going to talk about typography and hand lettering with one of my favorite land lettering artists. So I'm super happy. Wow, thank you. When I saw that you were coming to Max, I was like, oh, she has to be on the stream. <laughs> and you were traveling, no? You were in. Uh, South America or? Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I just came back last week from South America and yeah, I had one week at my studio, like working like crazy, getting done everything to be yeah. able to come here, yeah. That's great. And uh, so we are live from San Diego, maybe in the chat, uh, friends, you can let us know where you are from. Uh, Martina, you live in uh, Berlin now? I live in Berlin, yeah. but I'm not from Berlin. I, I was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina. In Argentina. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's good. So you will, yeah, they, they will let us know in the chat. There is a delay of Hi. 30 seconds. Bonjour. So <laughs> when we ask, uh, when we ask a question, then you, we will see the answer uh, uh, 30 seconds later. Ah, that's great. Because there okay. is a delay. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you already have questions, but first we want to explain what Martina is doing and what is her work. So maybe we, we will share my screen now and. Uh, discover your, uh, dis how would you introduce yourself? Well, I will introduce myself as a lettering artist or a letter designer. Um, yeah, and I use letters to create illustrations and um, artwork for different kinds of clients, um, um, publishing houses, uh, magazines, um, agencies, yeah. So this is uh, Berlin, this is already one of your yeah, Berlin is, uh, yeah. yeah, it's actually it's sort of a classic, uh, <laughs> but I, I use it a lot in my presentations because, um, well, with the time my presentations have become more and more centered in Berlin because I, I feel that uh, the city has been, you know, very important in my career yeah. or moving to the city has been uh, very important in my career and yeah, so most of my presentations um, start from there, right? From the moment I so moved. Um, see, we have uh, friends from Morocco, Belgium, Texas, Montana, France, wow. Jamaica. Kennst du Deutsch? Yeah. Yeah. Ich kenne auch Deutsch. And do you? Oh, good question by Joel. Uh, do you also create like typefaces? Uh, I've done. I've done typefaces. Yeah. Um, actually, I have. You know, I studied type design before doing lettering oh. and. Um, so yeah, I have created a couple of typefaces, uh, but with the time I have focused more and more into in lettering, and uh, I find it um, very hard to combine both oh, yeah. uh, because of the different um, uh, processes they have. Oh, yeah. yeah, very long process. Yeah, exactly, and it's um, yeah, they're just sometimes I feel they are just not compatible. Um, so if you work intensively with lettering commissions. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to catch up with the with the. And then uh, focus again on the. Exactly. On the yeah. yeah. True. Okay. Maybe we should just uh, go through some of your projects so sure. our friends in the chat can understand what you are doing. Sure. So, Verruchschon. So I. I, I, I yeah. don't speak German, so I don't <laughs> know what it means. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's like uh, crazy beautiful. Um, uh, crazy beautiful. Yeah. Um, so this is something I created for Glamour magazine oh, okay. and it's, uh, well I do that a lot as well, I do like headlines for magazines and they call me and yeah, I don't know, they want to, um, Yeah, you I, know. I, I saw that actually, uh, you share it on Instagram, no? Yeah, I share right. a lot yeah. on Instagram, yeah. This yeah. Is where, and, and sometimes you, you show the magazine. Yeah, yeah, sure, because I like to show the real thing because most of the times my lettering goes pair with some picture. And yeah, so that's really interesting to see like the contrast of the lettering working with the oh, yeah. image next to it. And the yeah. tags and stuff. Exactly, yeah. yeah, and the layout of the magazine and stuff, yeah. Okay, so, so this one is very different. Yeah, well, I have uh, a pre... A lot of styles. Yeah, yeah. I have, uh, in the last years, I have experimented so much. Um, but I still feel that, you know, I, I always have the feeling like, no, I have to try something new. Like I. And, uh, I always have the feeling that I'm behind schedule with stuff yeah. um, or with my, with trying out different styles. So, um, yeah. Also, yeah. So I, yeah. Whenever I see a specimen book of something uh, or I find uh, an old um, 
design uh, piece of, uh, you know, vintage design piece, I think like, oh, that leather shape is crazy. Like, let's uh, do something in that style. I turn out having something totally different at the end, but... Um, and, and they're asking, what is your Instagram? So is it Martina Flor? It's Martina Flor, yeah. Yeah, one word, so yeah. very easy to find. And, uh, but the creation process, so for instance, for this one, and we, we will talk about it, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, is it made in uh, Illustrator? It, it's made in Illustrator. Ah, okay. I work a lot in Illustrator uh, because it sort of allows to, you know, combine texture and color and mm. work. Uh, it's a nice tool to draw as well. Um, of course, if you, if you compare it with the font editor, yeah. uh, sometimes you feel limited in the, um, in the tools you have for yeah, drawing letter shapes, uh, but I think it's the best, you know, the best uh, software to actually combine all you need to do a lettering piece. Yeah. And they are asking about the device you use. Uh, you work on a Mac, right? I work on a Mac. Yeah. Uh, I actually use like a, you know, like a tablet, like I a work pen, on tablet? Yeah. Um, like a pen. Actually, it's like a mouse, but it's actually a pen, okay. uh, like a Wacom tablet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I, but actually, you can use a mouse. I never, yeah. I never use the Wacom tablet to sort of like. And she will teach me. And I will use the trackpad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So well. <laughs> even better. That, that's very challenging. Because we will try to. Uh, I don't know how it will go. But <laughs> <laughs> she will. Uh, we, we will try to to create something like this. So sketching on an iPad, which is new for Martina, yeah. and then me trying to create the letter in your sweater, which is new for me. Okay. So. I hope you will enjoy that and follow the process. <laughs> yeah. So this one has more shades and uh, gradients. Yeah. Uh, well, nice. th this one is also for oh. Vanity Fair, I like the, the magazine, and yeah, actually, I, I while well, I work a lot with script lettering, um, yeah. because I, I just um, you like I don't the, know the mood, I like it and I like the style. I li yeah and also I like to use my you know I sketch a lot by hand so I like to use my handwriting as nice. as a base to to create the designs. So yeah, and I turn out doing a lot of script lettering, um, and of course, the more you do, the more you get, the more the clients want to have it, right? Because you have yeah. It's true. Um, yeah. yeah. They, they, and uh, I guess it's very easy to see the value, especially with lettering. I would say, because you start from a message. You know, yeah. You start with words, and uh, everyone can be very bored with words. I mean, and don't realize the power of words. But then, when you do lettering, you add design to the words. It, adds even more meaning. Yeah, totally. That's what I like to, to lettering. Yeah, it's like another layer, like uh, there's because, the literal yeah. meaning and then there's the form, which has, yeah. you know, adds form another meaning. more. Yeah, sure. Like here, uh, if we type like uh, El Front Road, El Poder, uh, with just, uh, you know, like Ariel font or something very classic. Yeah, it's I mean, like... Of course, you get the information, yeah. El okay, Front Road, El Poder. But then here, it's uh, majestic, you know, like you get the energy, it's vibrant. Yeah, that's true, yeah, exactly. How did you make the color? So it's in Illustrator too? To yeah, I worked in Illustrator wow. and I drew, I, I always, um, I normally drew, uh, draw, uh, draw the, the letter shapes first. Okay. So I work black and white and, and then I start like adding colors and shades and um, effects sometimes. Um, yeah, but basically I try to get the letter shapes right and then, yeah, try to move on to the... Um, okay. Another style. Yeah, yeah, totally. Nice. Ah, Germany. Germany, yeah, totally. Well, actually, you have, you have to play it's the funny. Game. <laughs> that was uh, that was a commission from uh, the Washington Post, uh, really? the the magazine. Okay. And they actually wanted to, um, yeah, they wanted to have something sort of like with the German label uh, done, and uh, that's, that's probably they they um, called me. But then they they quickly found out that that I yeah. was not German. But I, yeah, of course, I have. You um, had to analyze the shape of uh, <laughs> German calligraphy and say, okay, let's go for it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's cool. You also do the illustration in this case? Um, Is it yeah, you also? yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, the end person. Yeah, that's a classic. We love it at Adobe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know the word in French? It's beautiful. The, no. It's a esperluette. Ah, uh, really? Oh, yeah. that's a nice word. And it's, uh, actually, it's like esperluette, like it's uh, esperluette, so it's end in French is a. Okay. You know, like et, uh, et, like a. Ah, that's true. Yeah. So esperluette is. Uh, it makes sense. It's yeah. And is the end, and that's also like, uh, it's like et per se. Okay. It's a et. It's a a. It's an end. So okay. end person is the same. It's, ah, it great. means end. 
per se is an end, end person. <laughs> That's an end. Now we understand uh, everything. Why? <laughs> and for our friends who like uh, typography, you should look for the origin of this shape. You will be surprised that actually the, they used to draw, I guess. Uh, it, so this is the French one. It's E and T. Okay, yeah. yeah so it's A. So this is an E and a T combined, and it became uh, this sh beautiful shape that we all like. This one is beautiful. I like the also the all the leaves and the. Yeah, I got this one. It's a pity that I don't have a picture. I got this one printed like um, with with gold uh, uh, golden ink, and it looks oh yeah, it works beautiful. It works very well. Yeah, I like this style too. Uh, yeah, it's really I, well, close. To, I mean, it's not something I, I've seen a lot. You know, like just. Uh, lines but then you combine the number of lives to create this uh, depth i mean that's uh it's very nice i like it well i uh, i i actually this is something that i um well i discovered recently that is something that i yeah that that i can do well <laughs> yeah. uh, because um i call this one like uh it's uh, it's crazy because when i draw this uh, sort of lettering is um, I don't start with any sketch. I just start on the computer, and I start uh, adding like um, add lines, lines, and, and so it's and very more. like a, like a meditation. I like so I start making the thing more complex. Uh, there is no plan, so I start just adding oh, lines, and uh, yeah, the process is like really nice because I, I start with nothing so at I have all. To, to ask you something when I see that, uh, yeah. do you have sometimes animators taking your lettering to animate it? Well, it didn't happen so far. Okay. No, it didn't happen so far. I would love to try. Oh, uh, I'd love me to the try files, too. Yeah. I would love to try on this one if you send me the file. I would do. Yeah. Okay. I'd love to see what we could do to yeah, animate yeah, it in that Yeah, effect. definitely. Well, that's, <laughs> yes. yeah. Uh, that's a good example of double meaning and uh, <laughs> yeah. with the win and then discover a cross or a T. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Well, this, this, oh, this wow. sort of the same yeah. uh, development of the same style that you saw in love. Is um, it also a, a one that wasn't really planned? This one? Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, my totally. God. It's really good. I just started, you know, like doing like a skeleton. Okay, I will write wow. lucky you, and then I move uh, f forward with that. Yeah. Speaking about lucky you, yeah. someone in the chat would be lucky because at some point during the stream, we will give away one year credit card subscription. Oh, really? To someone okay. in the chat. So okay. stay Great. with us. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, yeah. This is a more like uh, this is, is from a while ago actually, and but I, I, I it's a project I really like because yeah. it's um, um, you know I, I can imagine I remember that when I did that project uh, it's a cover for a magazine for Shop magazine uh, um, in the UK and and when I did this project I afterwards I thought hey I should do jewelry like it's. I would love to see this in real, yeah. you know, like to make. Especially today, you can, uh, from Illustrator, you can 3D print it, you know. Totally. That's so why I, uh, yeah. It's good work. Here it's more like. Yeah. <laughs> more energy, like comic book. Wow, look at that. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I remember that um, I did one project with uh, this shading, this sort of like grainy yeah, the, shading. Yeah, the texture and the shadow. Also, yeah, yeah, and um, there were a lot of clients and they still come after that like a lot of uh, oh, yeah. clients wants to commission a similar work so at some point I took it out of so my website. So was it a poster? <laughs> it was a poster yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Um, uh, someone is asking, Ken is asking, all your word lettering projects are in English only or? No, I work in German and English and Spanish. Spanish yeah. Um, actually yeah I mean um, German is something that started like uh, German clients is something that recently started like um, I have the feeling that in Germany the the lettering scene it um, is still developing and um, yeah and also in terms of typography they're a bit more conservative they go oh, for yeah. for more simple shapes and uh, sans serif and you know my yeah the work I do is super colorful well that's a German one Ah, um, see. that I recently did. Germany. Uh, but yeah, it's solely like <laughs> going in this direction. Nice. Another, um, yeah, yeah German another yeah. yeah, German I have a lot Fonchop? of German. Oh yeah, Fonchop, uh, I know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Fall Guile is like um, super hot or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> I like this one. Looks like a cherry or, or a, a basketball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Nice. Uh, this one also is interesting, like combining uh, white lines and uh, and with another light in color to see the yeah, 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 it totally. works very well. Yeah. Almost looks like a little bit like a neon line because you you added some uh, shades on the wall. Yeah. So it looks like that's true. It's a neon light. It's nice. Ah, it's nice. It's nice. You see? <laughs> uh, oh, the mixer is not gold. Nice. Wow. Oh, Beyond Taylor and the Tapography Conference. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Organized by my friend. Oh, my God. <laughs> I forgot his name. I wanted to say Chris, but it's not Chris. Mark. It's Mark, Mark. Uh, yeah. Who used to be in the Flash community. Ah, okay. Yeah, so he used to be uh, me too. So he used to organize like big events for Flash animators. Ah, nice. Okay. Uh, oh, good question. Thank you uh, for the question. Uh, do you sometimes use lettering, but to build a, a logo for a brand? Oh yeah, I do. Um, yeah, for instance, actually this one uh, oh, was this a logo type. Yeah, um, um, I do. And um, and in this case, when I when I draw logo types, I use a lot um, um, like font editors to draw typography. Well, in my presentation, I have um, I don't know if we're um, uh, yeah, we, this we want on to go screen. To um, no, sorry, I don't have uh, examples of logotypes in my presentation, but oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I do I do logotypes for enterprises or uh, and, brands. And you have also information about your process, I guess. So yeah. this is how you work. Yeah, exactly. This is um, a box. Um, I can do that. A, a, <laughs> this is a book, I, I, and I can um, start. <laughs> Alicia, NLP. Oh, Wonderland. Okay, exactly. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, I got this commission from a Spanish uh, publishing house. They wanted to do like um, um, the, the cover of a classic, Alice in Wonderland. And well, here I show my process a little bit like that I okay. first started with the thumbnail so sketches. So very simple. Oh, you try to organize the, the words. Exactly, I try to organize the, the work, what's important. Um, yeah, and then I start like uh, uh, sketching one some more. ideas. Um, like <laughs> nice. in this case I sketch, okay, what if oh. I use my handwriting and I, Add a lot of swashes and curls. Um, do you do you use a transfer paper? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, I do a lot. Um, actually, that's the best way to actually improve a drawing. Um, because here you directly improve on the on the sketch. Well, in this case, I was just. Um, but you're just looking for the, the composition. Yeah, I, in this in the thumbnail uh, sketches, I just look for you know a very quick. Uh, this wow, takes nice. one minute each, and um, I search for a composition that I like or the kind of lettering style that I want to work with, uh, whether this is Roman typography or script typography. And then, yeah, I just, when I find that composition, I start working. If you go to the next video, I start working in a bigger paper, on a bigger uh, paper, and I um, work a little bit slower, trying to. Yeah, uh, draw. find some details. Yeah, exactly. So and someone says that he has uh, your book in front of. Uh, I have your book in front of me. Good work. Okay, so you thank you. About? Yeah, I have a book. Um, uh, it's um, it was just released in German, and okay. it's gonna be released. Well, you can pre-order it actually in in English? Uh, in English. It's called the Golden Secrets of Lettering, um, and it's gonna be out in French and. Nice. Uh, in Chinese, <laughs> in Japanese, that's new. Wow. It's crazy, yeah. I definitely get it. So I, I so then I improve sketch. with layers. I improve and I normally do a number of sketches. Like if you go through, there will be where I try like wow. different things. And then this ah. is like the digitization <laughs> where it gets all, the shapes get more precise, you get more volume, um, you have some shadings, uh, texture. Uh, the creative elements, yeah. Um, and Patrick is asking, do you use the golden ratio or any kind of full? No, I just use my eyes. <laughs> no, actually, your eyes is, uh, is trend, I guess, uh, for yeah. years. Yes. You have a lot of training, so. Mm. And this is the final cover, I guess? Yeah, that's the final cover. And um, yeah, so the, 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 the whole process, it goes from sketching that's and cool. um, importing that into Illustrator and actually drawing the whole thing back again in, using in vectors. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing the process.
Do you think there is more we can share in the um, here, or we can try to to sketch something now? Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah sure. And, and this is the final book. Oh yeah, it looks great. Wow, look at that. With the blue, it's so intense. Yeah, I love that project, and the printed book looks really great. So we are gonna draw. Yeah, so we're gonna challenge Martina. We'll use Photoshop Sketch for the first time. So if you watch the day one keynote, it was part of the keynote because we announced that now in Photoshop Sketch you have a Photoshop uh, brushes that you can that we can right. use also on the iPad, so that's new. Um, but yeah, let's try to, to draw something. So maybe yeah. I can show you one or two things. Yeah. So um, we're using the iPad Pro with Photoshop Sketch. It's a free application, by the way. So you can download it on uh, iOS. This is coming on Android, but today it's just on the iPad and on um, the iPhone. Although on the iPhone, it's very small, so I don't know what you will be able to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone's asking about where do you take inspiration? So do you take inspiration uh, in the street when you see oh, vintage signs or? Yeah, well, I have to say that that's one of the things. I take a lot of inspiration from type design. That's, that's crazy, but mm -hmm. uh, most of my colleagues are type designers. And, you know, in Berlin, there's a big community of type designers and we meet often. So I have to say that a lot of inspiration comes from that. Um, but when I need uh, inspiration on a particular um, style, I just go uh, in the past and I search specimen books from, um, yeah, from, uh, I don't know, Victorian time or, um, uh, yeah. Um, but I think that's the best way to actually be able to have a personal take on something when you go in the past and you see what was done, and then um, you create something new out of that. No? Okay, I just want to make sure that I'm logged in. Because I am from Argentina, yes. Yes, she is. And she lives in Berlin now. Yeah, I live in Berlin. Okay. Okay, so this is Photoshop Sketch. I will make you an introduction. Okay. And then I will let you, and you will tell me what you think. Okay, okay sure. So you will have layers, you have several uh, ways to draw. So this is the, the classic graphite pen. You also have like something more uh, stronger, but the color is white, so it's stupid. You have, yeah, something stronger that you can use. All right. Or you have uh, something, okay, what is the color? I need to check the color first. Something more. Uh, Oh, yeah, like a nail brush thick, or something, yeah. yeah, or a marker. Yeah, like a marker. Mm -hmm. And uh, so actually you can customize the, the, each brush. So you can say regarding the pressure or the velocity, I want to, to change, you know, so if I press, it will change the rhythm and, and how, how much it should impact, you know, my... Uh, I see, yeah. You see? Yeah. So this is something we can try. Um, and then you also have, you can use crazy brushes too. But I won't show it because it's too crazy. <laughs> so this is something yeah, where you can do this. You, know, you can just with the pressure, it That's has an impact. It. Yeah, sure. But when I look at your process, I feel that you're first, you like to sketch, try everything, and then you finish in Illustrator. Yeah, sure. So this yeah. is what we will try to do. Let me show you some tools you can use. If you go here, you can use the lines. Okay. Okay, so it's a ruler. So you can, for instance, draw some guides. So just do a basic grid. Okay, and maybe an orientation like this if we want to add some dynamics. Okay, just for us, you know, just some guides for the eyes. Yeah, sure, yeah. Okay, and you have layers, so I can create a new layer and decide that this one, I will reduce the opacity. So we are not very uh, you know, annoyed by this. Okay, that's great. So yeah. that's it. So if you want to try the pen and... Uh, okay, I can try it. Actually, that's... Uh, well, I'm gonna reduce the opacity of this one yep. a little bit more. Um, yep. Here we Actually, go. I always uh, I keep doing sketches by hand and then scanning them every time. Oh, yeah. And uh, I haven't found until now uh, like a tool where I can 
Hi. Um, so I'm I'm drawing nice. Max. Um, oh, I do be Max in lettering. Right, that's. So Max logo is so sad. It's a creativity con creativity conference, but the logo looks like ah. Oh. Now that's better. Mm, that X doesn't My convince me, but. So what's cool with the iPad, you can undo. Yeah, that's great. That's <laughs> great. All right. Oh yeah. So I normally use a lot my, as you see, my handwriting as a base, and then I start adding like um, um, a little bit of weight and contrast. Okay. So I, I normally first start like super rough, like the first sketches. I always say that they said that should be like really rough. Okay. Um, and Never then said this is the first time she draws on an iPad, okay? Yeah, so. yeah. Um, and yeah, so we, we, we chose to write Max because there are only three letters. And after I will have to, I will learn how to work in Illustrator. So if it's a word with uh, 15 letters, I will never make it. So. And the yeah. M is already very complex, so. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep it easy. So, so how do you feel with the pencil? You it actually feels pretty, yeah, it's, it's uh, nice, huh? pretty uh, natural, yeah. Yeah, responsive, and the screen is great also. Yeah, so yeah. That's the big iPad Pro. Yeah. Uh, wait, uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm a bit new to this, but uh, and you look say that's pretty. Awesome. <laughs> mm. She does okay. it very well. Yeah, I think so too, uh, Christopher. Like for for a first on an iPad, I think the. No, I'm I'm always. Um, she has some practice, I guess. Yeah. Very young paper. Yeah, um, I'm always saying that um, I should find a tool where I c because I I keep scanning the drawings and I feel that's pretty nice already. Um, so. Yeah, and I will show you some stuff after. Yeah. Okay. That can help you. Some weight over there. All right. And, and Luke, say hi, Michael and Paulina. Hi, Paulina. Good to see you in the chat. Uh, so, good question, but a harsh. And uh, actually, it could be, become also a good advice for someone who wants to start in lettering. So, do you feel that your work reflects also your personality? Um, well, um, well, not really. No, well, yeah. I mean, maybe it's in an unconscious way, but um, but maybe uh, reflects more like an attitude towards things. You know, like yeah. um, uh, I don't know, attention to detail or. Yeah, attention to detail. You know uh, that style I, also. Yeah. You know, being attention to uh, your work is also very colorful. Yeah, which exactly. Is not the case of all uh, lettering artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I mean, um, I think it definitely does reflect uh, some um, the way I do stuff. Like, for instance, taking um, I tend to. Um, do very uh, extreme lettering sometimes, like with a high contrast or um, very extroverted letter shapes. And I think that might be the case of some decisions I also do in my life, like moving to Berlin <laughs> and, uh, you know, moving so. Moving to city to another one. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, oh, that's. Um, it's good, huh? Yeah, oh, okay. Well. No? Oh, yeah, you could add more with here and. Uh, We'll and I guess in Illustrator we can still work on the yeah, space sure. between the layers. I mean, exactly. Really I actually, um, yeah, I, I I sketch the you know the the lettering. Then I I just bring it to Illustrator and the you know it continues improving. Um, yeah. As you draw in Illustrator. As I, I draw in Illustrator. So what's the name of the app she's using? She's using uh, Photoshop Sketch which is a free application that you can download today. You can get today, iOS, coming to Android very soon. All right. You like it? 
Yeah, um, yeah, I think I could. And we will see in the newsletter. Yeah, sure. How Maybe we can add how we, things. But, yeah, sure. But you're already but that filling, would be, the, filling the void with. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> the space with it. What's the name? Swashes? No, there's a name in English. No? For okay. this? Uh, the swashes. swashes, yeah, yeah. exactly. So good. And also, so what you can do, just to show you uh, something that can be useful later, so you can also duplicate. All right. And then replace. Ah, that's a good. Uh, that's a good thing. So you see, you can transform. So you know, like transfer paper. Yes. Actually, you could do that. That's great. And that's then move great. it to the left and do some. Uh, see what I mean? Nice feature. Yeah. And then this one, just delete it. Uh, what else can I? So you can transform. So for instance, I could also like duplicate, mm -hmm. and then use the eraser to er erase A and X, mm -hmm. and then you know like move it so I can um, play on spacing right okay. now. Okay. So, yeah. But, but it looks good. Uh, would Adobe Draw be useful in this exercise? So Adobe Illustrator Draw is, uh, is another app yeah. where you directly draw vectors. I don't think this will help because when you do lettering, I know you want to play with the um, basic curves and the pen tool. Mm -hmm. You want to be super precise, have a minimum of dots, you know, of vectors. Yeah, points, yeah. And with Adobe Illustrator Draw, you just draw. Yeah. So it will just create like thousands of vectors. It doesn't really care. It's more for illustrations. Yeah, I, I say that for drawing letters, uh, the best is always to, um, to have as less points as you can, so you can you know, so editing the shapes doesn't become like a, like hell. You know that takes forever. The more points you have, the more work yeah. you have. So, yeah. yeah. So the um, the thing is that when you do that on paper, you scan it. Yeah. So the good news with the iPad is that I can say because I'm logging with my credit card account on my computer too, so I can say send to Photoshop or Illustrator. You know, and hopefully I'm connected. We will discover it right away. So this is computing. This is creating actually a, a real Illustrator file with uh, separate layers. Okay. Send it to the cloud. This is still uploading. Maybe I'm not connected. I will double check. Because it takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid to kill the process. Okay, let me see if I'm connected. I really keep, sorry. <laughs> I'm connected. Okay, let's try it one more time. Send to Illustrator. And this is the iPod Pro, so it's a high resolution. So some, some people are asking, is it Adobe Sketch or Photoshop Sketch? Actually, the real, the real name is Adobe Photoshop Sketch. So that's the full name. Okay, as I, I am trying to fix that, uh, we will do the giveaway. All right. Okay. So we will, and I need to launch something first. So we will give away a one-year Creative Cloud subscription to someone in the chat, which is a, a very nice uh, giveaway. To do so, you have to type a secret keyword in the chat. Okay. And the keyword is Martina. So you have to type Martina in the chat to get a chance uh, to win Creative Cloud. And make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel because it gives you more chances to win. With uppercase or lowercase, Martina? Uh, whatever. Okay. The, the robot will take everything. So just type Martina in the chat to get a chance to win. Thank you, Ryan. Okay, this is coming. So did it work? Not sure. Yeah, you saw the scent? Okay. Okay, now you have a lot of people yeah. <laughs> yelling your name. And we will ask Robert in uh, 30 seconds to pick someone who said Martina in the chat. And then you will have to reach me on Twitter. On my, with my nickname on Twitter is uh, mshez. But if, if you type Michael Shares on Twitter, you will find it. <coughs> OK, I think we have enough entries. So let's do this.
So the winner is Daniel Alvarez. Okay. Congratulations, Daniel. <coughs> Reach me on Twitter. My nickname is Mchez, M-C-H-A-I-T-E. Congratulations, Daniel. So I'm still struggling. I don't know why. Maybe I need to update Illustrator. That's why. Ah, maybe that's why. Let me think about it. Maybe there is another way. Yeah, we try to hack Creative Cloud now. It might work. Uh, okay, we try to. I'm married go. already. Okay, let me try something first. Assets. Yeah, congratulations, Daniel. Okay, I'm just trying to find it here. Uh, what's the name of the project? Project lettering. There it is. Oh, good eye. Yeah. Snake eye. So it's on the web. Okay, we can show my screen now. Uh, so I went. I went to Creative Cloud to Adobe.com. Yeah. And I say, show me all my mobile creations because every time you share, it's in the cloud. Okay. So you can find it. Usually, uh, so it's supposed to open Illustrator and put it in the background, but I forgot to to update Illustrator. Oh, okay. So it's my bad. We received the update yesterday and I didn't have the time, so <laughs> my bad. So you know what, let's do this. We'll use Illustrator, this, here we go. And now Martina will teach me basics. And I'm a very good student. Also. I'm okay. just hooked with the chat. Oh, yeah. The chat is going <laughs> yeah, wild. Yeah. Okay, so, so you have your sketch. Usually it's on paper, usually you scan it. We got it from the iPad. So I guess you lock the layer or what? Exactly. Do you do? Like, yeah. uh, well, you reduce the ideally opacity you, would, you, is, you would like, you would do like you do by hand, you know, using this tracing paper that you have sort of like <laughs> a different opacity. So you, you, uh, lower the opacity of that layer and then you create another layer. Okay. Um, Let's do this. I will lock the first one. Okay? Exactly. Um, ah. And then and you then. start drawing. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh, oh. So I use the pen, okay? <laughs> yeah. Which color should I take? Like a I normally outline? take like a black, um, a black, a black outline. Black okay. I will do a dark gray. All right. And what should I draw? So Everything here? Exactly. You should draw um, the contour. Um, the contour. Okay. Yeah. Let, so let's let's <laughs> we will see what happens. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Like this. Then I should go here. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's it. So you know a little bit about this already. I know Illustrator. Yeah. Okay. That, that's it. Then where uh, should I continue? Yeah. 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 Okay. Give it a shot and. Okay, I do something like this, okay? All right. Okay. Uh, where should I go? Here they can... Uh, okay, I'll try here, okay? Yeah. And I go up to the line. Should I stop here? Uh, yeah. And try and to then, go back? Yeah, exactly. You should draw the rest of the... Okay, let's try to go back. Okay, I hope you follow me, guys. And here, how do I do that? Uh, it just has to be very close to the other Okay, I other put it point. close and... Okay, you will teach me how to join it. All right. Then, okay, I will keep it close here, okay? Like this. Then I will keep it close here. Yeah. It's not very close, but... Uh, can it work? Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Not perfect, but. Uh, <laughs> and then what can I do? Um, shall I give you some tips to yeah. to draw letters? Uh, ideally, well, 
as I said before, you will use as less points as you can. So there are uh, too many points. No, it's fine. Um, perhaps there's too few right now. Um, too few. Uh, yeah, I mean, what you will try to do is to ideally draw uh, with extreme points. That means that, you know, your, um, uh, your points the top, will, the right. yeah, will sit in the highest point uh, uh, or on the... Uh, far, like left, far, right, far left, yeah, far left, far right. Ah, uh, it, um, in Illustrator, if you draw a good way of seeing that, if you draw, if you take the tool of a um, circle, circle, and tool? you just draw, a, like you just make a circle, okay. you will see that there's it's made by four points, like the top, you know, like oh, it's north, yeah. like south, yeah. uh, east, north, and west. So okay. those are the extreme points of that shape. Oh, so yeah. you will have to try to find those extreme points. In all the in shapes, the shape. yeah. Okay. Okay, so maybe I can try on another shape. Yeah, sure. To find the extreme points. Okay, let's do it again here. So left, I have no choice. Yeah, sure. You. Yeah. And I would go like to the top. Yeah. And try to find the. Maybe here. Yeah. And then, so we just do this arm. Okay. Okay. Should I directly go here? You think? Uh, I yeah, I would say that there is an extreme point here, like in the on the top um, curve, because it, because it's a ah, curve, yeah, then you have like back. two, um, ah, so okay. you have to make your handle a little bit so shorter, here, yeah. so it works out. And then I go here. Yeah. And okay. And then I, I go. I try to go here. All right. Yeah. I will add more. Uh, a little move just for me. Okay. All right. Then. Okay, far left. Okay, yeah. Then I, I try to do the same here. Exactly. You, okay, you have so to, yeah. a little bit here, and then top here. Yeah. And then, can I close? Uh, you can close if you like, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, that point would be like very sharp, but you can also shift it into the other shape, right? Yeah. So. Okay, and then you would zoom in and fix my mess. Because here there is something wrong. Yeah, well, that um, you know, when when you have a curve, you normally have uh, handles, so you can deal with that curve. And the problem with that point uh, uh, no on handle. the far right is that there there's no, no. I can add a handle now. So yeah, and the handle should stay in the vertical and um, and uh, horizontal. Horizontal. Ah, yeah. Uh, so I made a mistake. So to do that, you keep the shift. Can I move press, here? Yeah. So shift. press shift and it will keep your handles. Okay, but then, that's but then that one is too long, so you just shift oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, your your handle on the top, yeah. on the top point, is too long. This one is too long. It's too strong. Yeah, and so, so normally you say that the handles shouldn't uh, uh, go over uh, the. Like if I go over here. Yeah. So you see that oh, you you okay. your curve is uh, yeah distorted. So. No, it's better. Not yeah, perfect, it's, but it's, it's better. better. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So Thank then, you. to to deal with that curve, you will have to, you know, work with those two handles. Mm. No? And here the same. Yeah, that one should sit uh, ooh, ooh. straight. Ah, oh, straight. You're right. Yeah. So I should go back here and yeah, then exactly. fix the mess. <laughs> okay. So, come on, come on. Ooh. Okay. There, I have a weird move. It's just a dot. Uh, how can I fix that? I'm not sure. Um, so you can. Um, so now it's straight, uh, but I think you need to shift the the anchor point itself. Ah, this right? one. Right. So yeah, to get a curve ah. right, you always have to work with the ah, handle. because I'm not on the extreme. Yeah, exactly. Makes sense, and now I have the overlap. Okay, exactly. I get you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now it's fixed. I I know it seems like very technical, but once you get it, yeah, like you, you, after a bit of practice, you need some practice. I guess. Once you once you get it, it's like the best way to draw any oh, shapes, okay. even for illustrators, nice. guys who don't draw letters um, uh, specifically. It's like the best way to draw any shape. Um, and now it's cleaner, okay. Oh, yeah. I need to fix everything here, look at that. Yeah, you have it's a lot of so work bad. to do there. <laughs> oh my god, I have work for the week. <laughs> okay. So, um, one another tip that you could use to draw letters is that it's good to, um, to keep the, you know, the single strokes separately, so you can shift them. So okay, you can so shift them and, and fix like, um, 
um, So I do spacing. just one stroke? No, I mean, like here, for instance, the second stroke, you can just shift it to the right or to the left. So you can, um, yeah, so if uh, you want that, one. yeah, so if you want that shape a little bit more uh, close to the main shape, then you can just shift it and you don't have to move so many points, right? Um, oh. The same happens with the A, when, for instance, when you, when you draw an A, oh, let, yeah. you just keep Let's the two try. strokes separately. Um, so, so you can draw... How would you start the A? Because A is not easy. It's not easy. It's like, uh, you just start, like I think you, you will get it. Um, uh, I here? just draw the ball, like, uh, you know, you have the oh, bowl. Just the bowl? Um, okay. Yeah, so, but the, the bowl is not like a close um, it's not close. circle. So, it's, so um, I start here, okay? Yeah, you start there and then... And you, we'll see, yeah. we'll see what happens. And I go to the extreme. Exactly. Now I will Very try good. to, to make good. it right. So the extreme is here. Yeah, sure. Then you shift the handles. Okay. Like the lower handle uh, now is, is very strong, long. So, so you, like yeah, I exactly. Back. So here. Very good, you see? It's like. And I stop here? Yeah, sure, yeah. And oh, no, I need to. It's fine. You can, you can extend the, the handle later or whatever. Well, that one, that one could like the, the oh, you, you know, here. the ending points can always, I can you extend, can always, yeah. um, and then I can yeah. adjust here yeah. and find the, okay. And then you need to draw the whole, um, inside. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like the contour, like you, you need to continue the contour, right? So I need to continue now. I need to go back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I go back here. Yeah, sure. Okay. So you have one extreme point there. Yeah, we will fix it later. And this one will be too strong. And I try, so I should, I know. You have an extreme I have point to go there. Here. Yeah. Okay. Now I get it. Oh my God, Bézier. Yeah, you see? Yeah. It's a French world. <laughs> and I'm in the middle of this. Thank you, Mr. Bézier. And I go here, okay, it's too strong, I get, whoop, come on. Then I move back, uh, I don't close it, right? Yeah, you can close it. You, you, you don't mind? Okay. Okay, so I will fix this, something is really wrong here. Oh, why? I only You're have missing a one. handle? Yeah. Okay, there's, there it is. And maybe it's the position or... Yeah. Yeah. Also, so you always have to find the right balance between the position of the anchor points and the length uh, yeah. of the oh yes, okay of the uh, handles. It's good is that you see it in real time, so you're not that surprised. You can find it. <laughs> okay, I still need some practice, but oh my God, so many details. So it's and it's I. Not done anything yet. Like just, <laughs> like so, hey, I mean, oh my god. So a good thing is that, um, or what I would advise when you work with letter shapes is that um, you feel the shape. So as long, uh, as far as, um, as soon as you have the lines or the outline, then you just um, uh, you want reverse me to feel it. here. Yeah, exactly. So you can see. You know how heavy that shape oh. is. What's the, otherwise with yeah, the, the outlines? You, yeah, with the outlines you don't get to see exactly. Here it looks better. Yeah. Already. Like, I, I feel that the here it's the weird. downstroke is a little bit. Uh, Something thin. is wrong here, but uh, uh, here it's too thin. You mean? No, maybe the, this upper stroke, like. Uh, oh, this you one. Know, the connection, yeah. yeah. Is there a way to? Oh, okay, let me cheat a little bit. Oh, but then it breaks the. But then here. Yeah. Everything is broken. Okay, so. Don't do like me, don't try to cheat. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we'll try something different. All right. I will do something like this. That's too thin. Okay, it's weird now. You can also break the, you know, when you have a corner like you have there, you can break those points. You can just. Uh, forget about this, um, that, oh, the, okay. that the handles have to so be on the horizontal it. or uh, vertical line, so you I can just break okay, those just points. Break. 
And um, what's the shortcut to break? Uh, you here? break it, I think, by pressing Control or Alt. I'm not sure. Uh, it's here they're still linked. I'm looking for like, um, all the shortcuts <laughs> I have. No, it must be somewhere here. Uh, convert, break. No, here I lose. Okay, but I get it. Yeah, I need to break it. I don't know how to. Ah, uh, there you go. So I need just set once. Okay. Now it's too thin, but that's how we like it. Okay. Okay, here there's still an issue, I can tell. Oh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, oh, my done. God, so much work. <laughs> I'm just working on not even the full A, just this. And I can already spend 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, well, in the, in the beginning, it's like... Oh, uh, yeah, my God. It's, it's not easy to, to get it. Like, uh, but after uh -huh. a while, it really goes a lot faster, I, I tell you. So that's why your book will be useful, because... Well, yeah, the book also tips. explains how to, yeah. you know, work with the uh, vestiaire cur uh, curves. Vestiaire curves, yeah. Yeah, vestiaire curves. Oh, nice. Okay, so give me uh, seven days and this will be ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they are playing with Nightbot. The X for her, please. Okay, they want you to do the X, but we only have three minutes left. All right. Wow, that's okay. very good I will good just time. let you do one. Okay. okay. Um, with the trackpad, so it's not With easy. the trackpad, that's not easy. It's, it's the this worst. This is challenging. This is challenging. Um, okay, so... Well, you choose. Uh, let me do that curve over here. So you see that the corner can have like a different angle. Um, oh, I see what you mean. Wait. You don't care about the... the yeah, the corner can be like... A, so then you just place the point and you shift the handles. Oh, I see. Wait, your trackpad works different. Um, so here I have... And I normally do... I, this is a secret that I have, but... Um, when I have a curve or a swash, I normally use two extreme points, just the top oh. and the bottom. Um, and that That's much better. And then you can add the rest of the extreme oh. points later. Um, I'm just doing it very fast right now. Um, it's I will show you so much better. <laughs> oh, I will show you in a second what I mean. The magic of practicing. <laughs> yeah, well, I discovered that pretty late in my, <laughs> in my work. Uh, but now it saves me a lot of time when drawing curves or um, swashes. Um, so, well, I have Maybe the lines. Maybe you have to tweet something specific. Just tweet something. Just say hello. I won, and I will remember. All right. So. Um, nice. Uh, so you get like. A <laughs> They're like, oh my god. They love the tip, so they say. They say thank you for the tip. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. That's why I, I give it away because I would have loved to hear this uh, early in my career. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so here you see that the, the, this drop is looking a little bit potato-ish, potato-like, I would say. So, yeah, here I add like a, like extreme point and then I would add I also. Yeah, so, yeah, nice. so these shapes you can just... So nice. Um, you know, you can deal with the, that shape individually. Uh, so you add another extreme point over there. Right, so... And again, she's using a trackpad, so it's like the worst configuration. <sighs> so that still looks... Yeah, a little bit awkward, cool. but... Oh, no, it looks good. Um, You're very picky, that's why. Yeah, well, you create some standards after a while, right? <laughs> like, um, And we have to say goodbye to our friends. Okay, we have to say goodbye. So goodbye. Hey. And make sure to follow Martina Flor on Instagram, okay? And, yeah, sure. Uh, check her work. 
And thank you, Martina. Thank you. It was great. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye bye. <laughs> we were like <laughs> yeah. obsessed by the all over, yeah, yeah, all over the place. Bad.